On this episode of Knox News, we're going to discuss the benefits of nitrates as they convert into nitric oxide. I spoke previously about arginine and its pathway, and so in a good balanced uh, arginine product, nitric oxide product, I like to also see beet powder. Uh, beets, again, are high in nitrates. Some beet powders are higher in nitrates than others, so I like them as high as, as possible. And um, the, those nitrates, as they're ingested, they're converted into nitric oxide in the small intestine. So it utilizes a little different pathway as compared to arginine and citrulline. But I think it's great as an addition. That way you're, you're boosting nitric oxide in different ways at different times and uh, keeping those nitric oxide levels up. What I don't like is I'm not a big fan of sodium nitrate. And you'll see this in some nitric oxide boosting products. It, it does work. It does boost nitric oxide. However, I much prefer a whole food source of nitrates, such as beets. Uh, there's some spinach that actually has a higher content of nitrates. So spinach, kale, uh, green leafy vegetables, all those are high in nitrates. So I would I'd much prefer that. Um, as opposed to just taking straight sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate. it's uh, controversial, and uh, there's I think other ways that are much better uh, way to, to do that. On the next episode of Knox News, we are going to be di discussing uh, a way that you can nutritionally support your endothelium. Your endothelium is where arginine is converted into nitric oxide, so you want that to be good and healthy.